Tihan, everyone is working a little differently now in this new time. I mean, even journalists, some of us are working from home now on occasion. How has policing changed now with the coronavirus? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, we have over 200 people working from home, just as you are. And um, it's really changed about everything we do. So, and it's not just police officers. We have dispatchers and records clerks and, and CSI and community service officers that all have to come to work to provide essential critical functions to our city so we can be safe and keep moving forward. And so we, for example, in patrol, we don't have roll calls anymore because we don't want all the officers together. All the officers now you'll see are wearing masks as they are out in public outside of their cars. We wipe down our cars with disinfectant every day, multiple times a day in the common areas, doorknobs and tables and all those sort of things. We take the temperature of our employees as they come to work. We've quarantined employees. Fortunately, we have not had one positive test amongst our employees, although we have quarantined uh, employees uh, as they have been exposed. Most of them have come back to work, but uh, just about everything has changed uh, the normal way of life like anybody else. And I might also add, th these folks that are still coming to work for the police department have the same concerns we all have of their parents that might be elderly or have health problems, of their kids not being in school, the daycare and caring for their own children. All those same things apply to our members as they come to work every day providing these critical functions for our community. What about folks that officers who role in teams, partners, is that still happening? Yeah, on occasion it is, but we're trying to um, make sure that we are able to have officers not in confined environments, but on occasion that still still does occur from time to time, but we're trying to follow all the CDC guidelines, and those things change as they learn more and do things like, like for example, a week ago our officers were not uh, wearing masks all the time outside of their cars, but as of yesterday they are now because the CDC guidelines have changed. And so I imagine that will continue to happen as the medical profession learns more and more about this um, virus. And so we will try, you know, it's imperative to us for our community to keep our employees healthy and able to work. And so we're taking a lot of precautions in that regard because a lot of our positions don't have the luxury of working from home. So they have to be here and they have to interact interact with people and sometimes they cannot keep that six foot distance because maybe they have to arrest somebody or something like that. Well, you have to touch people to do that. And so um, what we take a lot of precautions to keep those folks healthy.